Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here, and today I have a layout for Tracy Reed Designs, and it is oldie but a goodie, and we are playing with the Felicity Collection, and so I have gone ahead and done a little bit of work ahead of time. I have just a piece of white uh, cardstock and then a sort of mint green, I guess, cardstock um, that I'm going to use to frame my layout. Those are just from my stash. And I wanted to add something to my white background. As you know, typically I don't leave a white cardstock um, without putting something on it. Um, so I just grabbed, I have this stencil. I have no idea where it, it's not stencil. <laughs> this is a stamp. I have no idea where it came from, uh, but it's just got a whole bunch of numbers on it. And so I like, I have tons of these kinds of stamps that'll just add some sort of texture or some sort of interest to your background. Um, and basically just, you know, to give it a background. So I took this stamp, this one here in particular, and I took some suede shoes from Catherine Pooler and I went ahead and stamped, did some, um, multi, um, multi stamps. I know there's a word for it and it has like escaped me. Um, but basically, so I stamped it down and then I, stamped it again and again and again. Um, so the impressions got lighter and lighter and lighter. Was not looking for perfection or anything like that. Once I had that done, I just put a little bit of the suede shoes on my mat here, added some water, and just proceeded to use that ink to make splatters. This is great if you are not someone who wants to invest in a whole bunch of inks, um, like sprays and things like that. If you have um, inks like this or any kind of ink, you can put it on your mat or a piece of plastic, add some water to it, and you can make your own splatters that match that ink color perfectly. You don't have to invest in a whole bunch of other sprays. Um, if you have inks, it's a great option if you like to add splatters, but don't want to invest in having all of the things. Uh, it's a great option. So just something to think about. I have both <laughs> because I, I like to have all the things. Uh, so I just use that because I want it to have the exact color. And in the Felicity collection, I was trying to match pretty closely this blue, which I have to say... Tracy did an amazing job matching that blue to the suede shoes. I don't know if that was on purpose, but uh, yeah, it's a perfect match. If you happen to have this collection and that ink, they go perfectly. So I'll stop talking about my background now. <laughs> For this layout, I don't have any real plan on how I want the design to go. I do know I'm going to rough up my edges so I do plan to take my distress tool and distress the edges of this. Um, I'm going to lay out sort of my basic idea for this page so that you can kind of see. I'm going to go ahead and glue it all down off camera. Um, but I'm going to at least give you an idea of in my head where I thought about placing everything. I'm using all scraps, but again, all from the Felicity Collection. Um, yeah, they're all scraps. I'm going to pull in one piece of white cardstock. This will back my photo. And then I'm also going to back my photo with this pattern paper, which again, from the collection, those are going to back my photo. I have this striped one. This is the size of my scrap. So I'm just going to use it. I have this white with mint green, um, pattern paper in this size so I'm going to add that on the layout as well and like I said I am going to lay everything out this is kind of how in my head I had an idea sort of basically I'm just really taking the sizes of the paper that I have and playing with them there is no real plan for this layout um, so if I bring in I think that's dry uh, I also have, I have lots of embellishments that I pulled out from the collection, um, that I have over to the side. I also have some little fabric, corduroy fabric hearts that I thought I might use, pulled them in in two colors. Not sure about them. Um, and then I also pulled in a couple of brads, um, just to add again, a different texture to the page because everything is obviously paper. 
I'm also going to pull in my title and this little love heart um, which matches perfectly the, um, I want to say kind of a salmon pink color that's in this collection. Um, so my title is going to be Everyday Story. That is um, an acrylic piece. So I am pulling out a little bit of acrylic as well for this page. And this is the photo of my son that I'm going to scrapbook. <laughs> this is definitely an everyday story. It still is. He's not that little anymore, but uh, he is definitely a... Um, lover of computers and technology and gaming and all of that. Um, he comes by it naturally considering his parents are both um, computer geeks. I work in computers. My husband has a computer science degree in, in addition to his uh, math bachelor's of education. <laughs> so yeah, my kids come by their love of computers naturally from uh, my husband and I since we um, are on the computer a lot so <laughs> that is definitely an everyday story so I'm going to be documenting that back to my layout I have gone ahead and have that down I also took the um, plaid pattern paper I had a scrap of that left um, so I didn't print anything new basically um, when I went to use this. I just pulled out what I already had printed from this collection, but it's great. It's a digital collection, so I can print whenever I want more of these things. Um, but I like to try to use up what I've already printed before I print more. So I had this paper, a scrap of it left. Took some heart. No, these are not hearts. Wow, words today, guys. These are circles, <laughs> die cut some circles, and I am thinking I am going to place these around as well. Um, like I said, I don't really have a plan <laughs> per se of what I'm doing exactly. Um, I'm kind of just playing with it um, and seeing where I like things, I think. I have this uh, four by six card. I'm thinking it's going to go something like here, give or take maybe. I'm going to actually move this over ever so slightly this way and have this be down here maybe. And I'm thinking my photo is going to go right here is, is kind of my thought. So I have this also this three by four card. Again, I'm pulling in, trying to pull in more of that blue. Um, that's in the stamping as well. So I'm going to layer that up as well as this photo will be matted twice. So this circle probably will move, the larger one will probably move a little bit. Um, and then this one will probably move, it might even move up here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but ultimately I'm thinking my photo is going to go something like this. And then I think this is going to go up here. I have this little frame. So I will tell you that some of the embellishments that I have are from the digital and some are from the sticker sheet. I'm not sure which ones are which, um, but there's probably a combination. This is from the digital, if I'm not mistaken. So I have that little frame. I'm going to put it up here, I do believe, just kind of tucked in there. And then I have this circle. Um, it's going to play right about there. I am thinking my title is probably going to go front and center somewhere in there. And then I just have all of these embellishment pieces um, that I'm going to pull in and basically I'm probably going to have what I'm thinking right now is an embellishment cluster here. I'm going to finish off this embellishment cluster here and then I'm probably going to have one here. So here, here, maybe, or here, here, and here. We'll see. I know basically this is the background uh, layers, background design. So I think before I start trying to determine embellishment clusters, I want to get this down um, so that I can really kind of see where I want to place uh, the embellishment. So I'm going to go off camera, get this glued down, get my title on, my photo matted, I'm going to, like I said, distress the edges of all the papers and the circles, and then we're going to come back. 
all of my layers are down my title is down it's a little hard to read on camera but in real life you can read it pretty well so now I'm just gonna work on my embellishment clusters I did kind of go ahead and separate some things into some clusters so I'm going to go ahead and get them put down on the page so I'm gonna start with I am gonna put a cluster over here I want to try to cover up this cord um, that's in the photo itself um, and so I decided um, I needed to put a cluster up here so I think that we're gonna make that happen here and I'm gonna take one of those hearts and put it in the cluster as well and just playing with where to put everything uh, I will change I'm sure as I go to glue this down off camera but this is what I'm thinking and I might actually put that up there kind of like that and then I have a little heart this is gonna go somewhere I don't know where I also have my little brad I'm gonna put that right in there and that's gonna be really simple a little cluster there I think I'm going to have another cluster that's going to go up here and just gonna layer I did cut around those two labels that were on this journal card I liked the idea of having those um, sort of on top of the photo so I'm gonna go with that and that there and that there so I'm just adding some ephemera pieces and one of the brads to each of my embellishment clusters I might even put that heart up here in this cluster just to give me a little bit of more pop of that blue since I have so much blue over here I'm really just trying to as you can see I don't have the same elements in every cluster I don't think I'm gonna put up one of the hearts up here I'm not looking to have exactly the same things in every cluster what I'm really just looking for is a balance of color so I had a lot of the sort of brown neutral tones over here and some and, a, and then the green so I felt like I could add like a little bit more blue over there so next up I'm gonna finish up with a cluster up here I think and I have a little label I'm just gonna stick that in there I have another one of those little circles that I thought I would put up here and then I have a little some other little bits and pieces that I thought I can make work up here and again I have the little brad that I'll work in somewhere up there in that cluster and I think that's gonna do it for up there I think what I need to do before I come in I pulled some enamel dots I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use for this to finish up the page but I feel like I need to go and glue this down first and then come back with the finishing touch of the enamel dots okay last thing for this layout I am going to use some of these salmon and then the mint and then some of these blue enamel dots and I'm just going to place them around the page to add that finishing touch that I think will complete this page and we are gonna call it good so once I get this done um, still photos will be coming up don't forget to check out the blog I will have in the description box below a link to Tracy's blog so you can check out what everyone else created with the Felicity collection for the design team members who are playing along today so be sure to check those out and um, what else new collection uh, should be starting to have shares uh, coming soon so uh, be sure to check that out or actually by the 
time. Yes. So hopefully that'll be coming out here soon. Um, but other than that, still photos coming up, like I said, and we are going to call this one done. So with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.